Hi folks, hope you're all well. Mark here. Um, I haven't made many videos for quite a while, so I apologise for that. There has been quite a good reason for me not making videos. I decided to walk away from YouTube and other social media for quite a while, uh, a few months ago. The reason for this was I had sort of become not directly involved, but kind of involved in all of this pathetic, ridiculous, vegan drama that was going on with, you know, Durin Ryder, Freely, Joe Vegan, The Vegan Lass, um, you know, Abbas Laciel, uh, Vegan Cheetah, you know, all this kind of stuff of people accusing somebody of doing something and then somebody else would accuse somebody of doing something. And I found myself becoming completely immersed in it and I was watching videos every single day of vegans basically just laying into each other and slagging each other off. It got to the point where watching all these videos had begun to change my ideas and opinions of vegans and veganism. I'd sit down and watch these videos and I'd think to myself, my god, is this is this what we actually are as vegans? Are, are vegans the compassionate people that we think we are or are we just people who love attacking each other for YouTube views and Facebook likes and all this kind of stuff, you know, and of course the revenue that all that brings. And it's extraordinary how social media can completely kind of skewer your idea of what's going on in the world. Of course vegans aren't like that. Um, there are vegans out there who are on the streets every day campaigning, vegans out who are placing themselves outside of slaughterhouses making protests, vegans who are, you know, protesting outside of McDonald's and all these kind of disgusting places. And they're not actually making videos where they attack another big celebrity vegan on YouTube. They're not photographing themselves in their bikinis and their perfect looking uh, bowls of food and they're not because they're not actually in it for the for the views and for the revenue but it is incredible as I said how social media can can make your brain just kind of twist on itself and you end up questioning the whole vegan movement and that's what I was doing luckily for me I realized that the only reason I was questioning this this movement if it's a movement at all, is because I was watching social media and, and that was the only kind of input that I was getting. So I unsubscribed to all of those channels that I mentioned earlier. The only channel that I didn't unsubscribe from is Abbas Laciel, which is Isil Mazard's channel. I didn't unsubscribe from him even though he was making a lot of videos back and forth about sort of Durin Rider and all these people. I didn't unsubscribe from him because I think he had a genuine kind of reason to make those videos because Durian Rider had accused him of being a paedophile and you know, I'm not going to go into it. I didn't unsubscribe from, from Isel's channel because I really love his videos. He's a very intelligent person. He raises a lot of po very good points about veganism. I'm also interested in Buddhism and politics, which he talks a lot about. I like Isel's channel because he often says things that I don't agree with. He challenges veganism. He challenges the very ideals of what it is. And even though he says a lot of things I don't agree with, at least he makes you think. If you're going to educate yourself about something, you need to find somebody who's going to make you think and challenge you. And that's what his channel does. So I'm still subscribed to, to Isel's channel. And I've been watching his videos recently. <clears throat> been talking about Buddhism and stuff. But yeah, that, that's why I walked away from YouTube. The thing is, another point that I'd like to make is you have people like um, Joe Vegan, Joe Best, that vegan lass, um, vegan cheetah. They're all making videos about, <clears throat> excuse me, how much they hate this person and this channel and all this stuff. But making a video saying I hate such and such a person on a daily basis, all you're actually doing is giving fuel to the person that you claim to hate. And I realised that very quickly and I realised the futility of that 
you know, I hate Durian Rider. He made a video about such and such a thing. Well, guess what? All the people watching the video where you're saying you hate Durian Rider, they're then going to go to Durian Rider's channel and watch his videos. Or, you know, I hate vegan Ava because she's incredibly stupid and she makes stupid rubbish videos. Well, guess what? All of your viewers are going to go and watch vegan Ava's videos. Give her more views. Give her more likes. Give her more money. I've kind of reset my ideas. I've been resubscribing now to a lot of vegan channels. But they're vegan channels from people who actually are making videos about veganism, not about, you know the coin. I'm very very busy at work, I'm very busy at home, I've got a house that I need to decorate, I need to decorate the entire house so I'm gonna carry on making videos for you all and I'll see you all again very very soon. Thank you for watching. Take care.